Skynus terabinthifolia, Wikipedia article audio. Skynus terabinthifolia is a species of flowering plant in the cashew family, Anacardiaceae, that is native to subtropical and tropical South America. It is found in these states of Brazil, Alagoas, Bahia, Espírito Santo, Mato Grosso do Sul, Minas Gerais, Pernambuco, Parana, Rio de Janeiro, Rio Grande do Norte, Rio Grande do Sul, Santa Catarina, São Paulo, and Sergipe. Common names include Brazilian pepper tree, Aroeira, rose pepper, broad-leaved pepper tree, wild lychee, Christmas berry, and Florida holly. Brazilian pepper tree is a sprawling shrub or small tree, with a shallow root system, reaching a height of 710 m. The branches can be upright, reclining, or nearly vine-like, all on the same plant. Its plastic morphology allows it to thrive in all kinds of ecosystems, from dunes to swamps, where it grows as a semi-aquatic plant. The leaves are alternate, 1022 cm long, pinnately compound with 515 leaflets, the leaflets are roughly oval, 36 cm long and 2 3.5 cm broad, and have finely toothed margins, an acute to rounded apex and yellowish veins. The leaf rachis between the leaflets is usually slightly winged. The plant is dioecious, with small white flowers borne profusely in axillary clusters. The fruit is a droop 4-5 mm diameter, carried in dense clusters of hundreds. Description Cultivation and Uses The two varieties are Brazilian pepper is widely grown as an ornamental plant in frost-free regions of South America for its foliage and fruit. It is considered as a mellifluous flower and is the main source of food for the bee Tetragonisca angustula, which is an important honey producer. Although it is not a true pepper, its dried droops are often sold as pink peppercorns, as are the fruits from the related species Skynus mall. The seeds can be used as a spice, adding a pepper-like taste to food. They are usually sold in a dry state and have a bright pink color. They are less often sold pickled in brine, where they have a dull, almost green hue. In the United States, it has been introduced to California, Texas, Hawaii, Arizona, Nevada, Louisiana, and Florida. Planted originally as an ornamental outside of its native range, Brazilian pepper has become widespread and is considered an invasive species in many subtropical regions with moderate to high rainfall, including parts or all of Australia, the Bahamas, Bermuda, southern China, Cuba, Fiji, French Polynesia, Guam, Hawaii, Malta, the Marshall Islands, Mauritius, New Caledonia, New Zealand, Norfolk Island, Puerto Rico, Reunion, South Africa, and the United States. In drier areas, such as Israel and Southern California, it is also grown, but has not generally proved invasive. In California, it is considered invasive in coastal regions by the California Invasive Plant Council. Brazilian pepper is hard to control because it produces basal shoots if the trunk is cut. Trees also produce abundant seeds that are dispersed by birds and ants. This same hardiness makes the tree highly useful for reforestation in its native environment, but enables it to become invasive outside of its natural range. Toxicity like many other species in the family Anacardiaceae, Brazilian pepper has an aromatic sap that can cause skin reactions in some sensitive people although the reaction is usually weaker than that induced by touch of the closely related Lithria molloids, known in Brazil as wild Aroeira. Conversely, 
Skynus terebinthifolius is commonly known as Tamaroeira. In a paper on triterpenes, the ingested fruits are noted to have a paralyzing effect on birds. The narcotic and toxic effects on birds and other wildlife has also been noted by others, e.g., Bureau of Aquatic Plant Management. The AMA Handbook of Poisonous and Injurious Plants reports that the triterpenes found in the fruits can result in irritation of the throat, gastroenteritis, diarrhea, and vomiting like most other members of the Anacardiaceae. Brazilian pepper contains active alkenol phenols, e.g., urushiol, cardol, which can cause contact dermatitis and inflammation in sensitive individuals. Contact with the sap from a cut or bruised tree can result in rash, lesions, oozing sores, severe itching, welts, and reddening and swelling. History The burning of plant matter releases many airborne irritants, so is not an effective means of control. It is said to have a mace-like effect upon nearby people and is highly advised against. Also known as Florida holly, Skynus terebinthifolia was introduced to Florida by at latest 1891, probably earlier, where it has spread rapidly since about 1940, replacing native plants, like mangroves, with thousands of acres occupied. It is especially adept at colonizing disturbed sites and can grow in both wet and dry conditions. Its growth habit allows it to climb over understory trees and invade mature canopies, forming thickets that choke out most other plants. The species, including the seed, is legally prohibited from sale, transport, or planting in Florida, according to the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Noxious Weed List. It is classified as a Category I pest by the Florida Exotic Pest Plant Council. To keep the plant from spreading into native plant communities and displacing them, local regulations and environmental guidelines require eradication of Brazilian pepper wherever possible. The plant in all parts are also illegal for sale or transfer in Texas. As one of the two species sold as pink peppercorn, the other being Skynus mall, it lacks generally recognized as safe status with the FDA. As an invasive pest It is a declared weed in several states of Australia. In South Africa, it is classified as a Category 1 invader in KwaZulu-Natal province, where any plants are to be removed and destroyed, and a Category 3 invader in all other provinces meaning it may no longer be planted. Control Two herbicides are approved for use in the United States to exterminate Brazilian pepper, triclopyr, using the basal bark method, and glyphosate. Picloram can be used if the stump has been freshly cut, but this is not the preferred nor most effective means of eradication. Medicinal Uses Pepper tree is the subject of extensive folk medicinal lore where it is indigenous. Virtually all parts of this tropical tree, including its leaves, bark, fruit, seeds, resin, and oleoresin have been used medicinally by indigenous peoples throughout the tropics. The plant has a very long history of use and appears in ancient religious artifacts and on idols among some of the ancient Chilean Amerindians. Throughout South and Central America, Brazilian pepper tree is reported to be an astringent, antibacterial, diuretic, digestive stimulant, tonic, antiviral, and wound healer. In Peru, the sap is used as a mild laxative and a diuretic, and the entire plant is used externally for fractures and as a topical antiseptic. The oleoresin is used externally as a wound healer, to stop bleeding, and for toothaches, and it is taken internally for rheumatism and as a purgative. 
In South Africa, a leaf tea is used to treat colds, and a leaf decoction is inhaled for colds, hypertension, depression, and irregular heartbeat. In the Brazilian Amazon, a bark tea is used as a laxative, and a bark and leaf tea is used as a stimulant and antidepressant. In Argentina, a decoction is made with the dried leaves and is taken for menstrual disorders and is also used for respiratory and urinary tract infections and disorders. Brazilian pepper tree is still employed in herbal medicine today in many countries. It is used for many conditions in the tropics, including menstrual disorders, bronchitis, gingivitis, gonorrhea, gout, eye infections, rheumatism, sores, swellings, tuberculosis, ulcers, urethritis, urogenital disorders, venereal diseases, warts, and wounds. In Brazilian herbal medicine today, the dried bark and slash or leaves are employed for heart problems, infections of all sorts, menstrual disorders with excessive bleeding, tumors, and general inflammation. A liquid extract or tincture prepared with the bark is used internally as a stimulant, tonic, and astringent, and externally for rheumatism, gout, and syphilis. Recently, the fruit of the plant has been studied and shows promise as a treatment for MRSA. A chemical in the berry appears to stop bacteria from producing a toxin which breaks down tissue. It also appears to suppress the way the bacteria communicate. S. terebinthifolius var. Acutifolius, leaves to 22 cm, with 715 leaflets, fruit pink S. terebinthifolius var. Terebinthifolius, leaves to 17 cm, with 513 leaflets, fruit red.